Hi, good evening, everyone. I hope all of you are doing good. Today, I came with a new video. In this video, we are going to learn how to release purchase order in the back end. For example, if you have any kind of a requirement where you need to release the purchase order in the back end, at that point of time, if you wanted to use any kind of function module, in this video, we are going to learn what BAPI we are going to use and how to test that uh, respect to BAPI. Those things we are going to learn in this video. We know that when the purchase order is created, we can release with uh, ME28 or ME29N in the, uh, in the front end by any kind of approver. But if you want to perform the same approver, in case of uh, if there is an email approval or else if you want to do any customized developments, at that point of time, you want to perform that respect to approval process in the back end. So let's go to the video. So first I will create the purchase order and uh, trigger one approval process. After that, we will see how to approve in the function module. So let me create the purchase order. The PO creation will be the normal process, how we do that. So as soon as the PO approval is triggered, then we can go to the function module to test it. Let me take uh, 10, okay. So click on check button. So the system will give the release strategy new tab. If the purchase order satisfies all the kind of uh, characteristics like a purchase group, value, whatever the combinations we have given, so system will get the release tab. So here I can see two level of approvals, X1 and X2. So we are going to approve these two with the BAPI, okay? So let me save the purchase order first. So I will show you that once I release and then I will verify and I will uh, simultaneously, we will verify the purchase order. So this is the purchase order. There are two levels are there and I'm going to show you to test this one, go to SC37. Okay, the function module we are going to use is BAPI underscore PO underscore release. So if you go to this function module, if you want to see the basic details of any function module, like I explained in earlier videos, go to the display tab. Okay, here you can see the details of the respective function module. What are the details available? Okay, how many kind of parameters? Okay, and what are the import parameters? The main import parameters will be purchase order number, the release code, the which release code you wanted to release, and uh, the exceptions and commit work. If you want to do any data, it will be blank only. So the details, the default value, let it be. And only we need to pass the purchase order number and the release code, which you wanted to release. Let's go to the testing. You have to give the function module here and then click on execute. So this is the home screen. And uh, for this one, we have only two import parameters, like I mentioned, one is the purchase order number, take the PO number. And second one is the PO release code. Okay, if you want to have multiple things, one by one we need to release. We know that the basic configuration of SAP MM purchase order based on your configuration, whether you wanted to release one by one or else you can release all at a time. So how the design, but uh, you have to take the all the release codes and release one by one. If it is happening in the back end, that we can mention the paper or uh, pass first release code and then second release code. Okay, he can consider based on the sequence available here. So let's release the X1 first. Because the yellow color is saying that currently the release is possible only for X1 release code. And the second one is waiting for that. Then only you will get yellow color. Let's release this. I have given the purchase order number and the first level release code. Now execute it. So when you execute, system will release the purchase order in the back end. So now it's done. Refresh the PO. 
see the first level is approved now the release is affected and uh, this one release possible because the yellow color has come so x2 is eligible for approval let's do the same thing for the second level approval execute it so it's also done now refresh see that both the levels are approved this is the way how we can uh, approve the purchase order by using the function module and uh, if the performance of manual activities we don't want to allow based on your business requirement and you want to perform in the back end the decision can come from any kind of a portal or any if you are using any kind of e-approval systems at that point of time the decision comes like when the approver has approved the details will come and we can update by using this function module so they don't have to use me28 and 29n because the actual decision is happening in any portal so the only the data we will get to sap and uh, release the purchase order in the backend so this is the way how we can release the purchase orders by using function module i hope you have learned it and you can practice on your own so you just need to do the basic release strategy and i have not explained about the overall release procedure configuration and all so you can verify my purchase requisition release video already available here and the pivot video i will release very soon so you can learn with that video and configure in your system and once you get the release strategy and you can try first me 29n or me 28 the manual transaction codes once you are familiar with the process then you can practice this uh, function module testing okay thanks for watching and check my other videos related to purchasing and release strategy and uh, just update your skills thanks again take care bye bye